Hey everybody, my name is Sean K. Anderson, and today I'm going to use Envato Element 3D Images to create five different animations in five minutes. I mean, it took me a lot longer to make these, but I'm going to cut it down into five minutes total. Envato Elements is a paid subscription program with unlimited access to stock elements, such as music, sound effects, stock footage, and also 3D images that you can download as a PNG or PSD, and you get the option to decide which angle you're downloading it from. Make sure to click the link in the description to save 70% off your first month. So for each video, I'm going to utilize these 3D elements to create my animations. And I'm already running out of time, so we're going to dive straight in. Go to envato.elements.com. Click More Categories. Click 3D. Search for houses and rows to build your little town. Rotate them to matching angles and then download as PNG. Make a one-by-one -one composition. Drop the road in. Then place your houses in the corners. You might need to use corner pin in some cases to better match the angles. Use Max to make the angles flush. Back in Elements, search for dirt. Grab a PNG matching the angle of your town and place it underneath. Next, download your favorite cars at four different angles and animate them driving through your town. Make sure they're overlapped by the houses where they should be. Crossfade them as soon as they leave and enter the town and time them all out to avoid collisions. Go back to Elements, click Stock Video, grab some smoke and birds and drop them into your comp to give the scene a bit more life. Color correct it with curves and hue saturation. Attach all the town elements to a null and add some vertical movement to make it floaty. And there it is. But is it a town or a self-made prison? Go to Elements Stock Video and search Valley for your backdrop. Download and add to your comp in After Effects. Then back to Elements 3D and search Dinosaur. Download the dinos at the angles you need for your scene and drop them over your background. Add curves to the dinos, click this color thing and make sure each color matches the scene so that they look more integrated into the background. Pre-comp your dinos with Leave All Attributes checked and add puppet pins to the joints. Save and close After Effects. Go to rainboxlab.org and download their free script, Duik, and install it. Reopen your project, open Duik, click Rigging, select your puppet pins, click Add Bones. Use the pins to animate the dinosaurs to life. Go back to 3D Elements and search Grass. Download a bunch of these to cover up the dino feet so they're more blended into the background. Color correct the whole scene with an adjustment layer and curves. Download a flare from Elements stock video. Add that and some grain to your final scene. Use the wiggle tool and wiggle expression to add some camera shake to the whole scene. Voila! Dino DNA. At Elements 3D, download some swords, a helmet, and a skull. Then search letter and you'll get a whole bunch of options for different 3D letters. I'm going with Old English. Select all the letters you need for your title at the same angle. Load these into a 69 comp in After Effects. Lay them out and time them as necessary. Animate the sword sliding in from the corners. Crossfade the skull. Download an Inkbleed Luma map from Element Stock Video. Use this to transition from the skull to the helmet by setting the helmet layer underneath in its track matte mode to Luma Matte. Use Matte Choker to reveal the titles. Add a posterized time effect at 12 frames per second. Add a black solid behind the letters with a feathered mask to make them stand out in front of the elements behind them. Search Grunge under Element Stock Video and download a texture to put behind and a texture to put in front. Set the front one to screen mode. Now that is a generic medieval fantasy movie title if I've ever seen one. Search Element Stock Video for a desert backdrop. Place it into a 69 After Effects comp. Under 3D, search Planet and download the coolest ones. Search Asteroid and download a couple clusters too. Back in After Effects, select your background, add the Mocha effect, and launch Mocha. Track the furthest point in the background. Save, create a null, create the data, export onto the null, drag your planets into the scene, Place them where you want them to be. Attach the null to the background. Drag the bottom background layer further down so we have more sky to play with. Add a mesh warp to stretch the sky up. Careful not to distort the other elements of the image. And then attach the planets to the null. Duplicate your background. Place this layer on top of everything. Key out your sky using a luma key. Duplicate the background layer again and reduce the opacity. This helps blend the planets more into the background. Congratulations, you've created a solar system. Search Spaceship in the 3D Elements section and download the one that looks coolest to you as a PSD. Create a 16x9 After Effects comp and create a solid. Add the effect CC Particle World. Slide the playhead further up the comp. Set the birth rate to about 16, the longevity to 2. Under Physics, change the animation to Fractal Uni. Set the velocity to 2, the gravity to 0. Rotate the axis so that the particles are coming at you and off to the side. Under Particle, change the particle type to Shaded Sphere. The birth and death size to 0.01. .01. Size variation to 3. Max opacity to 100 the colors to white. Move the generator off to the side so we can have stars coming from this direction and turn on motion blur. Create a 50 millimeter camera and move it until you're satisfied with the position of the stars. Pre-compose the layer and select move all attributes. Now in your main comp, use time remapping to slow down the stars in the first segment of your animation and then ramp up into real time. 
add an outer glow layer style and keyframe the opacity as we go into hyperspace. Add a brightness and contrast effect to make the stars brighter. Drag the ship PSD into the comp and turn off the background and shadow layer. Move the anchor point to the nose of the ship and add two slider effects, calling one position and one rotation. Add a wiggle expression to the position and rotation. Pick whip the second number of the expression to the designated slider and use these to keyframe the magnitude of the wiggle from zero to something like seven for position and four for rotation. Add a white solid to create a jet engine plane using a feathered mask. Attach it to the ship. Animate it from going short to long as we go into hyperspace. Add a levels effect to the ship and set it to composite to a mask over the back end with a 400 plus feather, and keyframe an increase in brightness as we take off. Add a curves layer to the ship to crush the colors. Create two new particle layers using the default colors and particle type to create sparks on the nose and wing. Attach these layers to the ship. Now this is pod racing. And that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.